Hello, my name is Adam, and I'd like to introduce Rita, who is a teacher of students with visual impairments working in British Columbia. The role of the teacher of students with visual impairments is very important, but many may not know a lot about what the TVI does. So Rita, what does the TVI do? I am a teacher who works with students who are blind or visually impaired, as well as their classroom teacher. I teach specialized skills such as braille instruction, assistive technology, and low vision aids, as well as adapt lesson plans. I also consult with teams of students who, are, who have additional disabilities and look at and explain the visual impairment and how it might impact their specialized program. How did you become a teacher of the visually impaired or TVI? I became a qualified teacher of the visually impaired by first becoming a certified teacher and then completing a master's degree in special education with the concentration in visual impairments. I completed both of these degrees at the University of British Columbia. I know that most students with visual impairments are integrated into their neighborhood schools. How does this work? Does each school have a TVI? In BC, all students with visual impairments are placed in the neighborhood school. The Ministry of Education requires that a qualified teacher with the visually impaired support these students' programs. It's the responsibility of each school district to ensure that this specialized education is provided. The vision teacher is normally employed by the district and is assigned a caseload of students from various schools. The TVI then establishes a schedule to travel from school to school in order to visit these students on a regular basis. What kind of students do you see and how do you know what they need? In general, I see three kinds of students. Those who are totally blind, those with low vision, or those with multiple disabilities. What I teach and how often I see the students depends on their age, their cognitive or physical abilities, and their visual impairment. The different assessments that I complete give me information about how the visual impairment is affecting their program, their literacy, their life skills, and social development. Are you able to work with all students in your district with visual impairments? In essence, yes, I am. The Ministry of Education places students in different special needs categories. I provide direct service to students with the sole diagnosis of visual impairment, and I consult with students who have additional disabilities. Students are placed on my caseload when school-based teams and or parents notify um, administrators of the need for my service and I'm able to see these students because my administrator sees the importance of seeing all students with visual impairments in the district. Where do you teach the students on your caseload? Um, typically I see students within their classroom but sometimes specialized instruction needs to be taught outside the classroom. Describe for me some of your specialized instruction. Some of the specialized instruction might be braille literacy, assistive technology, the use of low vision aids, and other areas of the expanded core curriculum. I also consult with the classroom teacher to bring awareness to their teaching style. Together, we might look at font size and type, the use of descriptive language, and avoiding the use of visually referenced words such as here, there, this, or that, about addressing students by name, and talking as you write on the board. Watch this. Here. And then E. And then R. Okay. Here. Good checking what you wrote. B. Yeah. A. R. Thank you. you. It's Y. Full cell. Full cell. We'll just so what have we got so far? Dear. Miss. Miss. Baker. I, there's an R inside it. He gets right, Baker. Dear Miss Baker. I also consult with teams of students who have multiple disabilities and we look at their program and if they're using communication aids or cues, I might look at how large they are, where they should be placed within the student's visual field, at what distance should it be placed. In short, I strive to ensure the greatest possible learning environment for the student. You mentioned the Expanded Core Curriculum. What is that? The Expanded Core Curriculum is nine disability-specific instructional areas. Since students with visual impairments have reduced opportunities for learning through vision, it's important that they get explicit, systematic teaching in specific areas such as 
orientation, mobility, self-determination, recreation and leisure, and independent living skills. I like to include goals from these areas in the student's individual education plan to ensure that they receive the targeted teaching they deserve. The ultimate aim of this instruction is to teach students the skills they need to reach their full independence. Thank you, Rita, for helping us to better understand what you do as a TVI and for how important you are. If you feel that a student requires the services of a teacher of students with visual impairments, please contact your child's teacher or your school district directly.